Hi viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, I will be going to discuss the very important and basic concepts of electrical power which is single phase and three phase power. So first, I will show you what is single phase wiring and three phase wiring and how this wiring can be done physically. And then at the end of this, I will going through step by step to calculate the single phase and three phase power. So in order to learn all the basic concepts, please stick till the end of this video. So let us begin by describing the difference between these two power using this example. On my left side, you can see a single road on which a single car can pass and this resembles single phase power. On my right side, you can see a highway on which there are three lanes and three cars can pass at the same time. So by seeing this, we can easily say that the only major difference between these two is that single phase is used to supply power to the lighter loads such as electronic appliances, lights, fan, single phase motor, etc. And the three phase is used to deliver power to the large loads such as three phase heavy duty machinery, three phase motors and a large complex. Now let us discuss what is single phase wiring. So in single phase there are two circuits one is called the live and other is called the neutral and between the line and neutral there is 240 volts or in some regions there is 110 volt between line and neutral and this single phase is used to run fan, cooler, heater and obviously these appliances require 240 volts single phase supply. In three phase wiring we have normally four conductors, three are the phase conductors which are normally termed as L1, L2 or L3 or in other terminology these phases can also be indicated by R, Y and B. All these phases as you can see here are 120 degree apart and the voltage between line to line or you can say that the voltage between L1 or L2 or L2 or L3 or L3 and L1 is 400 volts or in other regions it is 220 volts. So when I say that the voltage between line to line is 400 volt in that case the voltage between line, line to neutral is 230 and when the line to line voltage is 220 it means that line to neutral voltage is 110 because line to line voltage is under root 3 times line to neutral voltage or in very basic terms three phase electricity means that electricity is delivered to the loads using three single phase power lines here you can see that we can connect three phase and single phase load to the three phase supply at the same time because in three phase supply we also have the neutral so by using any phase and neutral, we can run single phase appliance and by using three phases, we can run three phase load. So a very short glimpse of how the single phase wiring is done. Here we have two conductors, one is the phase and the other is neutral. And this is how the neutral is common and it is connected with all the appliances, whereas the phase will pass through the circuit breaker and each circuit will have its own circuit breaker. So this is how the single phase wiring is done and in three phase wiring we have four conductors three for each phase and one for the neutral. In order to connect single phase load what we do we can we use one phase and the neutral and connect the whole circuit and if we want to power the multi-story building what we can do we can connect all the single phase load 
equally on all three phases so that the single phase load act as a balanced load on all three phases. So let's come to the very important concept which is the power calculation. So I'll take the example of single phase split AC and three phase electric motor. So what happens? Both the load are drawing 9 ampere from the phase. As you can see here that in single phase supply one conductor is used to supply the current and the other is used to return the current. So the same current also returns into the neutral. Here in balance three phase there will be no current flowing in the neutral and the three conductor will carry equal amount of current. Now first of all I'll calculate the single phase power if the appliance is drawing 9 ampere from the single phase supply which is 230 volts. Here we have 230 volts single phase supply 9 amps and let's say the power factor is 0.8 so the total power single phase power comes out to be 1656 watt. For three phase power we'll have this formula here the voltage between line to line is 400 volts and the current of each line is 9 ampere and again the power factor is taken to be 0.8. Now the three the total three phase power is exactly three times of single phase power. So now you can see that even if the same amount of current is drawing the conductor still the three phase circuit carries three times the power as compared to the single phase circuit. Now I, in the end I will explain how this three phase power formula is computed. I hope you know that in three phase circuits the load can either be connected in delta configuration or in the star configuration. So let's take an example of first the delta connection. In three phase circuit the three phase power is normally three times of the single phase power. Here VP is for the phase voltage and IP is for the current voltage. These color windings are showing the phase and these main black lines showing the line main conductors. So this is the line conductor and this is the phase conductor. We want to calculate the three phase power and in three phase power we'll have to calculate V line and I line. So in delta configuration the V line which is V phase to phase is equal to V phase. So we simply replace V phase by VL and the line current you can see here is divided into two phase therefore the in delta configuration IP is equal to IL over under root 3. So here 3 over under root 3 equals to under root 3 VL IL cos theta. So this is how three phase power formula is computed. Now let's take another example where the load is connected in the star configuration. Again we will start by three phase power which is equal to three times of the phase voltage and current. Now in star configuration the line voltage the voltage between R and B is divided into two phase therefore the phase voltage is equal to V line over under root 3 whereas the line current is equal to the phase current therefore we simply replace IP by IL again by dividing 3 over under root 3 we'll get the same formula for the three phase power which is under root 3 VL IL cos theta. I hope you understand how to calculate single phase power and three phase power. For more interesting videos, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.